years probably. Well, I think that Miles brings a tremendous amount of energy and enthusiasm to the painting class. And I, I just can't compare it with anyone else because when I greet him, when he comes in, the smiles and the, the warmth of and enthusiasm that he brings is just really amazing. certainly learned to adapt all the things that he works with over the years. Um, we use tennis balls and we use wiffle balls and, and um, we've built up handles and we have always encouraged him to stretch and, and strengthen and, and you know incorporated some therapy kind of aspects but um, at the end he, we love to have something that's beautiful He wanted to paint all the time. You know, you put something else up for him to do, and he, he cleared the coffee table. And we did lots of different kinds of painting, and of course, we learned a lot as we went. You know, we adapted different kinds of, of pencils and brushes. Mr. Paint Boy. You know, it started out being one way to work with his hands and, you know, his arms and reaching and, and but he just lit up, you know, he just lit up. We have Miles engaged in almost every aspect of what we do, including building the canvases and stapling the canvas to the frames. And he made an enormous two by four one with a whole lot of help. But he got to put the screws in with the with a screwdriver and staple on the canvas and he loves to be part of the whole process. I feel that uh, Miles has uh, in many ways shown me the power of working from the right side of the brain using the intuitive forces that Miles brings to the process. I tried to match his intuitive nature through intuitive color choices and intuitive orchestration, but I think he's really demonstrated very clearly to me, and I've grown through my contact with Miles by the use of pure intuition, suspending logic, uh, suspending numericals, suspending language, and working really from the right side of the